Why are coral reefs important? Coral reefs cover less than 0.1% of the Earth's surface, but they are the most biodiverse marine ecosystem in the world. Coral reefs are home to about 4,000 species of reef fish, 840 species of coral and over 1 million species of other animals. This is why coral reefs are often referred to as the rainforests of the sea. From starfish to clownfish and cuttlefish, animals of all shapes and sizes rely on coral reefs for food, shelter and to breed. Where are coral reefs located? Corals are found in all the world's oceans but are most abundant in tropical waters, where they create their own unique ecosystem called coral reefs. The biggest coral reefs are found in the clear, shallow waters of the tropics and subtropics. The largest of these coral reef systems, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, which extends for over 2,300 kilometers, 1429 miles, along the northeastern coast of Australia. Are corals plants or animals? Coral reefs are large underwater structures composed of the skeletons of colonial marine invertebrates called coral. Corals are animals belonging to the phylum Salenterata, Cnidaria. These corals secrete an exoskeleton formed of calcium carbonate, which protects the soft body. Generally, this exoskeleton is called coral. What do corals eat? Hard corals depend upon tiny algae called zooxanthellae that live inside them. Together, they share a symbiotic relationship. The corals provide the zooxanthellae with shelter, and in return, the zooxanthellae provide the corals with food produced by photosynthesis. How are reefs made? The corals that build reefs are known as hard, or reef building, corals. Hard corals, like elkhorn coral and staghorn coral, grow in colonies and are often referred to as reef building corals. Hard corals create skeletons out of calcium carbonate, a hard substance that eventually becomes rock. Over time, this rock builds up to form the foundation of a coral reef and provides a structure upon which baby corals can settle. When these organisms die, they also serve as the foundation for new corals. The basic unit of a coral reef is a primitive animal called a coral polyp. A coral reef is made up of three main components. A hard surface, such as submerged rocks or other hard surfaces, provides a place for corals to attach and serves as habitat for many coral reef animals. The second component is the coral polyps. Coral polyps are tiny little animals that are related to anemones and jellyfish. They can live individually, or in large colonies that comprise a coral reef. The third component is the reef animals. Between 1 and 8 million species are associated with coral reef ecosystems, and many play crucial roles in maintaining a healthy, functioning, and balanced reef. Which are the types of coral reefs? Scientists classify corals into four types, fringing reefs, barrier reefs, atolls, and patch reefs. Fringing reefs grow near the coastline around islands and continents and are separated from the shore by narrow, shallow lagoons. Fringing reefs are the most common type of reef. Barrier reefs also parallel the coastline but are separated by deeper, wider lagoons. At their shallowest points, they can reach the water's surface forming a barrier to navigation. Atolls are rings of coral that create protected lagoons and are usually located in the middle of the sea. Atolls usually form when islands surrounded by fringing reefs sink into the sea or the sea level rises around them. Patch reefs are small, isolated reefs that grow up from the open bottom of the island platform or continental shelf. They usually occur between fringing reefs and barrier reefs. They vary greatly in size, and they rarely reach the surface of the water. What is coral bleaching? When corals are stressed by changes in conditions such as temperature, light, or nutrients, they expel the symbiotic algae living in their tissues, causing them to turn completely white. This is called coral bleaching. When a coral bleaches, it is not dead. Corals can survive a bleaching event, but they are under more stress and are subject to mortality. What causes coral bleaching? The change in ocean temperature caused by climate change is the leading cause of coral bleaching. Other causes include runoff and pollution, overexposure to sunlight in shallow water corals, and exposure to the air during extreme low tides, which can also cause bleaching in shallow water corals. I hope now you understand the importance of the coral reef ecosystem. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Take care, stay blessed, thank you so much.